All right. right, there we go. Uh, good evening, Raul. So it is just uh, you and me right now. Hi, coach. Hi, hi, coach. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today, Raul? Uh, my day, my day was fine. Uh, and I am in my job. Uh, it was uh, heavy because I uh, and because in I and I work. It, uh, today was uh, very very uh, busy busy. Oh, I see. So you had to work really hard today. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, and uh, that's too bad. That's awful, Raúl. But there are days like that. Then we have other days that we don't have to work so hard. So, but I'm happy to see you here. Thank you for coming and thank you for being punctual, Raúl. You were the first to come to the class, so that is amazing. Thank you. Bueno, bienvenidos a todos los que ya se están agregando también. Welcome, Gerson, Rodrigo. Thank you for coming, guys. Thank you. And welcome, uh, Rodrigo, Jose, Mendoza. Thank you for coming, guys. It's nice to see you again. I'm happy to see you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hey. Rodrigo. How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. I stay in my, in my house. Uh, work. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to go at the company because I I work in the company once a week. Uh, oh. The other day, uh, mm -hmm. work from home. You work from home, okay? Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. Well, that's really nice. I mean, I think that that is good when you have the the opportunity to work from home, and then maybe sometimes you can go to the to the office. That is really good because you can have like this. Uh, I mean, you don't get bored because when you only work from the office or when you only work from home, it can be boring sometimes. That happens to me. I mean, I work from home all the time. So sometimes I wish that I could travel to the office and maybe do something different, right? So it is nice to have the opportunity to do both things. So that's really nice, Rodrigo. Yes, because I I can wake up late, for example. Right. Uh, the traffic is terrible. Uh, yeah. When, oh my goodness. When I go in, at the company, I and I prefer mean. work from home for this reason. Yes, I uh, totally agree with you on that. Yeah, I actually saw that on the news today that I live in Opico. I think that I told you that before. Uh, I told you guys that before. So um, let's say that if I worked in San Salvador, or if I worked in Santa Tecla, for example, and then I would need to travel from my home uh, to work. I mean, I would spend hours stuck in traffic. So that would be that would be awful. I mean, I know that there are people that spend hours, like they get up really early in the morning, but still uh, there is a lot of traffic. So uh, that is one of the benefits about uh, working from home that is one of the benefits so i totally agree with you so that sometimes make me appreciate working from home because of that because i mean i save time i can wake up late in the morning i don't have to wake up early in the morning or things like that so i totally agree with you sí de verdad que es un tema bien complicado verdad guys Ahora, últimamente he estado viendo que en Los Chorros, la carretera de Los Chorros, eh, al, últimamente siempre hay como mucho tráfico. Hay como algún accidente o alguna cosa, de repente hay derrumbes. Los que vivimos por este lado, eh, yo creo que hay personas que dicen que se tardan como tres o cuatro horas para llegar. O sea, imagínense tardarse esa cantidad de tiempo cuando en realidad no está tan lejos. O sea, bajo condiciones de nada de tráfico, Ustedes llegarían, por ejemplo, de, de Los Urdes a San Salvador en unos 10, 15 minutos, o sea, y de pasar de eso a pasar como a unas 3 horas de tráfico, entonces es bastante, bastante tiempo, ¿verdad? Y bastante tiempo perdido de la vida, o sea, honestamente, 
es muy lamentable que eso suceda, que la gente tenga que pasar tanto tiempo en el tráfico. So that is one of the benefits about working from home, guys. So I think that most companies should do that. Most companies should have people working from home. But one of the problems is that sometimes when people work from home, uh, sometimes people are not responsible, right? Like they, uh, they avoid uh, doing what they are supposed to be doing. Like, for example, they say that they have uh, electricity outages, they have internet outages. And I think that that is one of the reasons why companies don't want people working from home because of that. I know that there are people that are really responsible, that really uh, work really hard, but there are some people that are just the opposite. So that's really what happens. I mean, it's really sad to think about it. Así que bueno, eh, guys, perdón ahí porque estoy hablando tanto de esto. Eh, bueno, bienvenidos eh, los que ya se acaban de unir a la clase. Estamos pocos por ahora, pero no importa. Vamos a continuar con la clase como, como siempre, ¿verdad? Gracias a todos por estar aquí. Eh, solamente tenemos la clase de ahora y la de mañana, ¿verdad? Así que ya casi completamos nuestro módulo. Espero que hayamos aprendido algo. Vamos a hacer... Eh, Creo que tal vez mañana vamos a hacer como una especie de reca recapitulación para que ustedes puedan solo refrescar su memoria de lo que hemos visto hasta ahora. Sé que a veces se nos puede un poco olvidar. Se lo digo porque a mí me pasa. O sea, yo al menos a veces paso pensando en muchas cosas que de repente me cuesta concentrarme en algo. Entonces, es bueno de vez en cuando dar un pequeño repaso, ¿verdad? Un repaso breve. Ya no vamos a tratar los temas igual que lo hemos hecho antes, porque ustedes ya lo, ya lo conocen todo. Así que probablemente hagamos eso mañana. Bueno, eh, para esta semana también, guys, ustedes tienen que completar... Eh, bueno, terminamos todo, ¿verdad? Así que tienen que completar la sección número 5 y también el examen final. Eso sería lo único que nos hace falta hasta ahora, ¿ok? So, just uh, section number five and the final exam. Those are the only two things that we are missing, right? So, I know that some of you may have, like, problems with the internet. Like, for example, Jeffrey told me yesterday that he had some internet outage, I think. So, if something like that happens, I mean, you guys can work on the exercises at any time. Like, you can go in there and do it whenever you want to, whenever you have the chance. And also... Uh, we can do it during the class. I mean, I can help you with that too. Bueno, eh, ¿qué, fuimos, ¿qué fue lo que vimos nosotros el día de ayer? Nosotros estábamos hablando acerca de... Vamos a ver por acá. Yeah, creo que estábamos hablando de los... Vamos a ver, déjenme ver por acá. Oh, ya me acordé. Estábamos hablando de los gerundios, ¿verdad? Y las respuestas cortas. Así que si, por ejemplo, yo les dijera a ustedes, uh, por ejemplo, I hate working on Mondays, and then uh, what would be like an answer to that? What can you, what, what if you agree or what if you disagree to that? What would be the response, like a short response for that? So do I or me too? So do I or me too. Yeah, that would be if we agree, then we can say, so do I, like, I don't like working on, uh, I don't, I hate working on Sunday uh, or Monday in this case. I hate working on Monday too, right? That's what we are trying to say, that we agree to that, right? Vamos a ver, ¿qué pasa, por ejemplo, Marlon, si yo quiero decir que estoy en desacuerdo con eso? ¿Qué expresiones pudiéramos utilizar nosotros? Digamos, yo le digo a usted, yo odio trabajar los lunes. ¿Qué me pudiera decir usted? Digamos, si usted está en desacuerdo. ¿A usted sí le gusta trabajar los lunes? Mm, me neither, neither do I as well, I think. Ok. Ok. That's okay. this too. That's it. Yep. Yep, that's, that's true. Yep, we can say that. Very good. Very good, Marlon. Thank you. Yeah, so we have... Um, bueno, si tenemos una oración negativa, ahí sí podemos utilizar eso, ¿verdad? Fue lo que dijimos ayer. 
Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I don't like working on Mondays, then uh, we can say that. We can say, neither do I. Right? We can say something like that. But what happens if we have a, a positive statement? Like if I say, for example, I hate working on Mondays, then uh, how we can disagree? Veamos, si yo les digo, yo odio trabajar los lunes, ¿cómo pudiéramos estar en desacuerdo en ese caso? ¿Qué palabras, qué expresiones pudiéramos utilizar? Digamos, ustedes me dicen, yo, bueno, yo no, a mí me gusta, por ejemplo. Yeah, not. Well, I do. Yep, so we can say something like that, right? We can say like, for example, uh, really, I like it. I actually like it. For oh, example, I or I don't. Very good. Very good. That would be another option. Yep. I don't. I mean, I don't hate working on weekends or I don't hate working on Monday. I, I don't have any problems with that. So that would be another option. Very good, guys. Very good. Vaya, tenemos entonces esas expresiones, ¿verdad? Recuerden, eh, cuando es una oración afirmativa para estar de acuerdo y para estar en desacuerdo. Okay. Dijimos que los gerundios funcionaban, eran como verbos que terminan con ing y que funcionan como nombres, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, I hate working on Mondays. Working, it functions as a noun, right? So we are uh, talking about the, uh, the actual, in this case, idea, in this case, working on Mondays. Entonces, ahí estamos diciendo que lo que no nos gusta es trabajar, el hecho de hacer eso, esa cosa, trabajar. Bueno, eh, por otra parte, como les estaba diciendo, teníamos las oraciones negativas. Por ejemplo, uh, I'm not good at selling. Then uh, you can say, neither am I. So, uh, so you can agree, right? Y la razón para eso es porque estamos diciendo eh, de una forma negativa, ¿verdad? I'm not good at selling. So neither am I to agree. And then if you want to disagree, uh, you can say, well, I am. For example, right? That, that would be just an example. And we had other expressions that we can use, but that would be like one of the options that you can have. Vaya, entonces vamos a saber qué más. Eso fue lo que vimos nosotros ayer. Para el día de hoy vamos a comenzar con un nuevo tema, guys. No sé si tenemos alguna duda hasta ahora con el tema anterior. ¿Alguna pregunta, inquietud? Any questions, concerns about the topic? All right, very good. Let's go, let's continue, guys. Let's move on. Vamos a ver. Entonces nos quedamos por acá, miren. Ya vamos terminando. Ya casi, ya casi terminamos, okay? So we have lesson 5.5. It says, in this session, you will notice in practice released and unreleased sounds Dice, en esta sección notarán y practicarán sonidos que se pronuncian y otros que no. Okay. Sonidos que se pronuncian y otros que no. Okay. Es como, por así decirlo, bueno, ya vamos a ver acá de qué se trata esto. Vamos a ver. This is like a pronunciation topic, guys, because that is really important, right? I think that we want to pronounce words. We need to pronounce our sentences accurately, right? We want to be like really good at that we want to be really good at our pronunciation vamos a ver entonces tenemos este video que se trata acerca de eso tenemos el sonido uh, tz, que es como el sonido de la t tz, y el sonido de la d que es como d, d, d. que es un poco difícil de imitarlo la verdad pero eh, eso representa representa el sonido de la t en el inglés y el sonido de la letra d ok ¿Qué sucede? Eh, tenemos estos sonidos que, por ejemplo, el sonido de la T, ya lo van a ver ustedes en el video, se trata de esas oraciones en las cuales está bien marcado. O sea, es como, es un sonido que sí se pronuncia. Y por el otro lado tenemos el sonido de la D, que es un sonido que prácticamente no se pronuncia, ¿ok? Entonces ya vamos a ver ahorita de qué se trata esto, ¿ok? Vamos a ver el video, guys. All 
right? Give me just a second, guys. Please listen that. and practice as many good. times. Hi, everyone. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen. All right. So there we go, guys. Uh, as you can hear, we have the uh, and then we have the D sound. Okay. It's like, let me just play it for you one more time because I'm not really good at this. So let me just go back. As many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Okay, es como y el otro es bueno es un poco difícil la verdad no no voy a mentir vamos a darle para atrás otra vez part a is as many times as you need to pronunciation unreleased and released t and d part a listen and practice notice when the sound t or d at the end of a word is followed by a consonant it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Vaya, ¿qué nos está diciendo acá? Dice, eh, nota cuando el sonido t or d, al final de una palabra, dice, eh, seguido por una consonante, no es, eh, en este caso, no es eh, pronunciado. E, y cuando es seguido por una eh, vocal, eh, es, bueno, quiero ver, vamos a ver acá. Vamos a ver, déjenme revisarlo, guys. No, no se los quiero decir al revés, vamos a ver. Sí, bueno, eh, cuando es seguido por una consonante es prácticamente pronunciado y cuando es seguido por una vocal no es pronunciado, ¿ok? Y tenemos algunos ejemplos por acá. Ya los van a ver, ya los van a escuchar ustedes. Tenemos acá. Acá sería pronunciado prácticamente. So, she's not good at math and science. Okay? I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. On the other hand, we have this um, released. Okay? So, this is not, uh, we don't pronounce this. So, the sentence would be something like this. He's not He's not a good artist, okay? He's not a good artist. They are really, uh, they really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. Básicamente, lo que pasa aquí, si ustedes se fijan, es como que hay como más la separación entre las palabras, ¿verdad? Tenemos, she's not good at math. Por el otro lado, tenemos acá esta, esta oración que dice, uh, he's not a good artist. Okay, es como que se unen, not a good good artist, okay? Not a, not a, Good artist. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Then we have, they really hate it. Hate it. Okay, hate it. Están como ligados los sonidos en este caso. Pero por el otro lado, por acá, tenemos el sonido de la, de, de digamos, de la T. Y acá tenemos una, una consonante. Okay, so I hate working on Sundays. She's not... Good at math. Si se fijan, acá tenemos el sonido de la T. Luego, después acá tenemos el sonido de una consonante, ¿verdad? Igual que acá. At math. Y por el otro lado, acá tenemos el sonido de eh, D. Seguido por, eh, en este caso, una vocal, ¿ok? Acá también. Good artist. Hate it. ¿Ok? Hate it. Hate it. Prácticamente ya ni suena como una T, ¿verdad? Sino que suena como una D. Hate it. Okay? They hate it. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. He's not a good artist. He's not a good artist. Okay? Por ahí. Vamos a escucharlo acá en, la, eh, en el video para que ustedes puedan notar la diferencia. Okay? Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get.
Ok, pudieron notar ahora cómo es eh, la diferencia, guys. Tenemos, eh, bueno, básicamente, como les decía, tenemos ese sonido de T que va seguido de un sonido, de, va seguido de una consonante, ok. Por el otro lado tenemos el sonido ese como de D que va eh, seguido de una vocal, como acá, ok. Not a good artist, ok. They really hate it. Hate working on Sundays. Not good at math, ok. Por ahí más o menos, ok. No sé si tenemos una duda con respecto a esto, nos ha quedado claro. Espero podérselos explicar eh, de una forma que lo puedan entender. Si no, pues igual díganme, yo trato de explicarlo de otra forma. Sí, solo para eh, comprender, teacher, eh, por ejemplo, cuando ya termina la palabra y, y continúa otra, pero esa otra palabra empieza en consonante, eh, como que se hace más fuerte el sonido de la T. Por ejemplo, I hate working. Correcto. Y caso contrario, si digamos, eh, después de terminado la palabra hate, le sigue otra palabra que empieza en, en vocal, se escucharía más suave la palabra como hate it. Correcto, exactamente. Ah, okay, okay. Ahí lo tiene, ahí okay, lo tiene, muy you. bien. Yo welcome, ok, very good. Rodrigo lo dijo muy bien, la verdad que lo resumió prácticamente. Entonces, eh, eso es un muy buen ejemplo. Y eso nos va a ayudar como para tener una mejor pronunciación, ¿verdad? Es como para que suene más natural, suene más fluido todo. Entonces, esa parte también es importante, guys. Eso es lo que queríamos ver en esta parte. Más adelante, por acá... And say them out loud. Tenemos esto. Watch your pronunciation. Remember the more... Vaya, eh, aquí tenemos estas dos expresiones, ¿verdad? Tenemos... I'm not very good at... Entonces, eh, dependiendo, bueno, vamos a ver. Acá tenemos, I'm not very, I'm not very good, sorry guys, I, I got, I'm sorry about that. So I'm not very good at something, right? For example, I'm not very good at math. Si se fijan, en este caso eh, tenemos esta expresión, la cual eh, tiene este sonido de como de D, por así decirlo. Y está, eh, a continuación tenemos una vocal, ¿verdad? Entonces, allí va a sonar de esa forma, como más, por así decirlo, más ligado el sonido, como I'm not very good at, good at, good at, que ¿okay? Es como casi como si fuera solo una palabra. Por el otro lado, eh, tenemos I don't mind, ¿ok? Tenemos el sonido de la T ahí al final, pero eh, acá tenemos una eh, consonante, por eso es más como separado, por así decirlo. No, no está eh, ligado el sonido, el uno con el otro. Sino que es, I don't mind, ok? I don't mind uh, listening to other people's problems, for example. I'm not very good at math, ok? Va como, eh, digamos, junto. Eh, todo juntito, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Eh, no sé si tienen... Vamos a hacer una cosa. Quiero que ustedes, por, por favor, eh, al menos anoten tres cosas en las que ustedes son buenos. Y tres cosas en la, con las cuales ustedes no tienen problemas, ok, por ejemplo yo no tengo problemas eh, para ayudar en la casa yo no tengo problema con prestar eh, dinero a otras personas, yo no tengo problemas con ese, algún tipo de, de cosa similar, verdad algo que a ustedes no les moleste hacer básicamente, que no les moleste vamos a hacer eso y si pueden, eh, por favor quiero que lo digamos acá, tratemos de practicar esta parte de la pronunciación ok Vamos a intentar trabajar en eso, en la pronunciación ahora.
vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, guys, ¿cómo van? ¿Ya tienen algún, uh, algún ejemplo por ahí que les gustaría compartir con la clase? Vamos a ver, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Una pregunta por ahora? Recuerden, son tres cosas en las que somos buenos, eh, tres cosas que no nos molestan a nosotros hacer. Y tratemos de también eh, practicarlas en voz alta, ¿ok? Como I'm not very good at... ¿Verdad? I'm not very good at... Bueno, en este caso no soy muy bueno en algo, ¿verdad? Entonces no sería que soy bueno en algo, sino que no soy muy bueno en... En algo en específico. Yo les puedo decir algo en lo que no soy bueno. Yo no soy bueno bailando, por ejemplo. So I'm not very good at dancing, ¿ok? Recordemos que con esta expresión de good at va a ir un gerundio después, ¿ok? So I'm not very good at dancing, I'm not very good at uh, maybe a driving, for example. I'm not very good at uh, cooking. And I don't mind uh, helping other people. I don't mind... Vamos a ver qué más. I don't mind uh, taking the trash out. I don't mind... Uh, listening to other people's problems, for, for example. Si no, pues eh, también las pueden compartir por aquí por el chat. Si no, no las tienen o les da pena o algo, no sé, eh, pueden compartirlas por el chat. Vamos a ver, aquí tenemos. Ok, very good. Thank you, Margarita. So I'm very good at helping other people. Ok, very good. Very good at helping other Me people. Coach. Huh? Go ahead. Well, I am good at playing video games. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, and also I am good at eating a lot of pupusa. <laughs> And I'm not good at, at driving a motorcycle. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Jeffrey, do you have other examples or uh, only those three yeah. examples? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I hate uh, listen to, listening to music low. Okay. Uh, and also... I like walking. Uh, for a lot of hours. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Very good. Yep. Very good job. Yep. Jeffrey, do you have another example, or is that it? Uh, that's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Very good job, Jeffrey. Thank you. Ok, muy bien. Buenos ejemplos por ahí los de Jeffrey. Interesantes, la verdad. Vamos a ver. Tenemos a Wendy y a Rodrigo Hernández. So, Wendy, you can go ahead. I am good in play soccer. Okay. I am good in uh, eat pizza okay. or eating pizza. Right. So, you need to say uh, like this. I'm good at eating pizza. Okay, I'm good at eating okay. pizza. Okay, I am good at eating pizza. I am good in dance. So you are good at dancing. Good mm -hmm. at dancing, right? Okay, uh, the other uh, teacher uh, mm -hmm. answer, I have a problem with helping other people. Mm -hmm. okay. I have a problem cooking for other people. And I have a problem walking and not taking the bus. Right. Okay. Very good. Very good, Wendy. But we uh, we need to use this structure that we have here. Okay. So you need to say something like "I don't mind walking" or "I don't mind taking the bus." Okay. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So could you please say it one more time? But this time, let's use this structure that we have here. Okay. One more time, please. Okay, I don't don't mind uh, helping other people. Okay. I don't mind uh, uh, cooking for other people. Okay. I don't mind walking and not taking the bus. Okay. 
Ok, very good, very good job, Wendy, that is perfect. Ok, ahí, ahí lo tenemos, ahora sí. Ahora sí. Porque creo que lo estaba diciendo de otra forma, era como, I have not, pero no, no sé, pero creo que era diferente, ¿verdad? I have a problem, no tengo problema. Ajá, ok. Eh, uh -huh. También creo que se pudiera decir, pero tendría que ser como que, so I have no problem with helping other people, or I have no problem with taking the bus, por ejemplo. Ah, with taking bus. Mm -hmm. I have no problem okay. with taking the Thank bus. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. Bueno, después teníamos a, creo que era Rodrigo Hernández, ¿verdad? Por ahí. Rodrigo, eh, I I can hear you. I, I cannot hear you. Um, maybe you can get closer to your microphone because I cannot hear you. Uh, there we go. Pregnancy? There yes. we go. Okay, I don't very good at cooking. I am not very good at playing guitar. Mm -hmm. I know very good at uh, washing the car. I don't mind wash the dish. I don't mind work the weekly. I don't mind ride a motorcycle. Okay, very good, very good, Rodrigo. So I don't mind riding a motorcycle. I don't mind uh, washing the dishes, right? And then what was the other one, the first one? Bueno, los tenemos. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, guys. Muchas, muchas gracias. Vamos a ver. Tenemos a Gerson por ahí. Vamos a ver. Gerson. I am good at writing documentation. I am not good at sing. I am good at say for a, a lot of hours in the computer. Mm -hmm. I don't mind teach my skill. I don't mind go to the company, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't mind watch a movie twice. Okay, okay very good. Uh, Harrison, um, I want you to tell me your examples one more time so I can write them down here, okay? I just want to uh, make sure that I heard you right. So could you please tell me your examples one more time, please? I am good at writing documentation. At writing documentation, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, and next. I am not good at sign. Could you spell that for me at sign? How do you spell that? Sign. How do you say it? Eh, cantar. <laughs> oh, okay. So that would be sing. In this case, I'm not good at singing. Okay. Singing. I'm not good at singing. Remember that when we have this expression, when we have good at, then we are going to have a gerund after that. Okay. So we need to use singing in this case. So I'm not good at singing. Okay. Let's go with the next one, please. Okay. I am not good at. Singing. Uh huh. I am good, good at stay for a stay for a lot of hours in the computer. Okay, I'm, I'm good at staying for mm -hmm. a lot of hours in front of the computer, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, so is that it, Herson, or do you have another example? 
Uh, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't mind. I don't mind teach my skills. My skills. I don't mind go to the company, uh, but I don't. I don't mind going to the company, right? right? Okay. But I don't, right? Yes. Okay. I don't mind watch a movie twice. Okay, so again, I don't mind watching a movie twice. Very good. Very good. So one more time, Harrison, could you please tell me these last two sentences one more time? Just one more time, please. Okay. I am good at writing documentation. Mm -hmm. I am not good at singing. Singing. I mm -hmm. am. I am good at staying for a lot of hours in front of the computer. Mm -hmm. I don't mind teaching my skill. I don't mind going to the company where I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't mind watching a movie twice. Awesome. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Harrison. That's perfect. Very good. Okay, guys. So in this case, just remember, guys, that there are some expressions like this, like good at, and I don't mind. Uh, you're going to have a gerund after that, okay? So, no podemos decir, perdón, aquí me equivoqué. No podemos decir, por ejemplo, I don't mind go uh, to the company. Tenemos que decir, I don't mind going to the company, okay? No me importa el ir a la compañía, no me importa. O podemos decir, por ejemplo, eh, no me importa o no me molesta eh, ver una película dos veces, okay? I don't mind watching a movie twice, okay? No podemos decir solamente I don't mind watch. Tiene que ser I don't mind watching a movie. Vamos a ver. Sí, dígame, Francisca, go ahead. I would like to practice. Go. All right, very good, very good. Thank you, Francisca. So you can go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay, first one, uh, maybe I'm not very good at dancing. Next okay. One. I'm mm -hmm. not very good at uh, sending anything. Next one, uh, I'm not very good at um, playing uh, any. Uh, some, I mean, some guitar, but um, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind playing the piano. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't mind working at the. On weekend, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last one, I don't mind writing writing some letter song. Writing some some letter song. Some letters. Yeah. Okay. Just like this, right? I don't mind writing some letters. Some letter. Ah, song no. No. Okay. Okay, one more time, Francisca, because I, I uh, the thing is that I can barely hear you. I, I don't know if you can maybe get a little closer to your microphone because I, I couldn't hear you. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, all activity? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, okay. Um, I don't, I mean, I'm not very good at dancing. I'm not very good at sending anything. I'm not very good at uh, taking the guitar. I mean, playing the guitar. And in another time, uh, I don't mind working not working on weekend. Uh, I don't mind playing the piano. And the last one, I don't mind writing some letters. Could you hear me? No, let's go to.
Mister. We Thank can you. hear you. Mm, he's not mute, but. Mr. We can listen to you yet. Vamos a ver. Eh, creo que tal vez ahora sí me pueden escuchar, guys. Perdón ahí por el inconveniente. Yes, teacher. I listen to you. All right, very good. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened, but for some reason, my microphone and everything stopped working. So I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry about that. Bueno, vamos a ver. Eh, Francisca, creo que me estaba diciendo, pero no le pude escuchar. Así que no sé si pudiera, por favor, decirme una vez más. Lo lamento sí, mucho. ¿Me escuchan bien? Ahora sí, ahora sí. Okay, okay. No problem. Can I uh, practice again? Sure. Not... What? What? Sure, uh, you can go ahead. You can say it one more time, okay? Let's try, let's do it okay. one more time, please, Francisca. Okay, I'm not very good at dancing. Mm -hmm. I'm not very good at sending anything. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I'm very good at uh, playing the guitar. The guitar, but okay. Um, I don't mind uh, playing the piano. Mm -hmm. I don't mind working, in, working on the weekend. And the last one, I don't mind writing some letters. So writing some letters, is that correct? Some letters, some letters, song, yeah. Some letters, no, keep it alive. Um, oh, okay, some letters. Ah, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yes, you're right. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go, some letters. Okay, thank you, Francisca. Very good job, thank you. Muy bien, Francisca, muchas gracias, de verdad. Eh, perdón ahí por los problemas con el audio, pero sí, están muy bien los, los ejemplos y también me gusta mucho la pronunciación, así que está muy bueno, muy buen trabajo, ¿ok? Gracias, guys, gracias a todos por participar. Eh, vamos a continuar, entonces. Vamos a ver. Entonces, ya quedamos claros con esta parte. Esto solamente era para la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Eh, solamente el sonido eh, de la T y el sonido de la D. Okay, básicamente el T es como más separadito por ahí y la D es como más eh, ligado todo. Bueno, entonces vamos con la siguiente parte, guys. Dice, in this session you will develop skills in listening for main ideas. En esta sección, en esta sesión, desarrollarán habilidades auditivas para entender ideas principales. Ok, entonces acá tenemos este ejercicio de listening, ok. It says, uh, the title is Job Hunting. It says, listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would best, that would be best for each student. Escucha a las personas hablar sobre el tipo de trabajo que andan buscando. Marque el trabajo que sea mejor para cada estudiante. Dice. Entonces vamos a escuchar este audio. Son tres personas. Tenemos a Bill, Shannon, y tenemos a Ben. Los tres están buscando un trabajo. En base al audio tenemos que nosotros decir eh, ¿Cuál sería como el mejor trabajo para cada uno? Así que lo vamos a escuchar, guys. Y quiero que ustedes, por favor, eh, tomen notas. Eh, por favor, quiero que ustedes me cuenten acerca de esto. Como siempre, ¿verdad? Lo más que ustedes puedan entender. Aquí vamos a desarrollar nuestra habilidad de listening. Así que tenemos que prestar atención. 
y quiero que ustedes después me lo puedan relatar a mí. Por ejemplo, I think that Bill is trying to, for example, is trying to get a, uh, this job because he said that uh, he likes to travel, he likes to uh, have fun and things like that. Okay, so here we go, guys. Let's go. Vamos a ver si carga. Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. One, Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people and traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Page 66. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Answer these questions. One, Bill. Vale, lo vamos a escuchar una vez más, guys, porque acá es prácticamente otra vez lo mismo, así que lo vamos a escuchar una vez más, okay? So, here we go. So, what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. All right, so guys, uh, let me ask you something. So what kind of things is Bill looking for in a job? Vamos a ver, ¿qué piensan ustedes? ¿Qué es lo que él busca en un trabajo? Vamos a ver, vamos a ver acá, ¿qué pueden decirme? Francisca, go ahead. Yes, I think that he was uh, looking for a job of office. I don't In an know, office? I... Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Francisca, and why do you think that he's looking for a job in an office? What makes you think that that is uh, what he wants? Let's see. Uh, did he say that he wanted a job in an office or? Yes, I... I... I remember that uh, he was uh, mentioned about that working an office, in an office because uh, he. Uh, pero, mm -hmm. No le gusta trabajar eh, <laughs> en otro business, algo así. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much, Francisca. I appreciate that. Thank you. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué dicen los demás? ¿Qué piensan? He, he, he liked travel. Uh huh. Okay. And I um, join with the other people. Okay. Very good. So he likes to travel. And what else? He likes to uh, hang out with other people. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Wendy. Very good. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ponerlo una vez más para que lo escuchen. Vamos a ver si es cierto lo que están diciendo. Vamos a ponerlo a prueba. Vamos a ver. <laughs> Vamos a darle para atrás. En un instante, guys. I'm going to just, uh, just going to reload the page because it always gets stuck like this. I don't know why. So let's try to reload the page and 
And let's play it one more time. Okay, let's Listening. start over. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want to... Okay, so what did he just say? Vamos a ver, ¿qué acabas de decir? He loves... Travel. He loves traveling, okay? He loves traveling, and he loves working with people. Right? Yes. Vamos a ver, lo vamos a ir para atrás un poquito otra vez. Muy bien, gracias, Wendy. Quiero que lo escuchen para que vean, o sea, acá está utilizando lo de los gerundios que acabamos de ver, okay? Entonces, he loves working with people and he loves traveling, okay? Vamos a escucharlo otra vez. Bill. So, what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to Vaya, eh... Al principio también dijo otra frase que puede ser eh, útil para ustedes. Por ejemplo, uh, to make up someone's mind. Ok. Se lo voy a poner aquí. So he says, um, I haven't made up my mind yet. Ok. Todavía no me he decidido. Eso es lo que está diciendo ahí. Todavía no me he decidido. Esa es una forma de decirlo. Pudieran decir también, I haven't decided yet. En este caso, dice, I haven't made up my mind yet. Y dice, eh, I love working with people and I love traveling. Y dice algo acerca de la oficina. ¿Qué dice? Dice que no le gusta estar... Me gusta, eh... <ríe> ahí está, ahí está. Muy bien, Francisca. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? So, he no says that... ¿Perdón? No lo había escuchado bien. <laughs> no problem, no problem, Francisca. That that happens. We just need to practice our listening. I know that some of you guys are really good at speaking, and you guys uh, have really um, writing skills and grammar skills. But maybe uh, you guys have problems with listening. So that's the reason why we do this. So you can practice. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ponerlo otra vez. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, Francisca. Vamos a ver por acá. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. Okay, dice, I don't want a job when, where I am stuck in an office all day. Okay, no quiero un trabajo donde esté, eh, por así decirlo, estancado en una, o encerrado en una oficina todo el día. Okay, <laughs> ahí está. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good... Escuchen otra vez esta expresión. Dice, are you interested in working in... ¿Ok? Otra expresión que dijimos por ahí también, ¿verdad? Interested in. Después de eso tenemos un gerundio, ¿ok? So, are you interested in working... Un poquito para atrás. Working in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two. Después dice, I'm not interested in making a lot of money. Okay? Otra vez. Interested in, luego un gerundio, making. Interested in making a lot of money. I can worry about that later in my life. Okay? Vamos con el siguiente. Lo vamos a escuchar y quiero que ustedes me digan. <laughs> I see. Okay, I see, Francisca. Shannon, what kind of career are you planning for yourself? You like to work in an I office. don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Otra vez, otra vez. Two. Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. 
but that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Eso está un poco más complicado, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, ¿Qué escucharon ustedes de eso? Creo que todos le entendemos, ¿verdad? Que es que ella quiere trabajar eh, como en un hospital o algo así. ¿Qué es lo que dijo? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué anotaron ustedes? Ustedes tienen que estar anotando. Um, I remember uh, she said uh -huh. her family work in business, but uh -huh. this work is not for her. <laughs> That work is not for her, right? That is correct. That is correct, Rodrigo. That's what she said. Thank you. Very good. Yes, she said that her family is working in law or business, right? And she says that that is boring. That is that. That is just not for her. That is not for her. Okay. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, Rodrigo. Así es. Eh, dice ahí que la familia de ella trabaja en negocios o en leyes, pero eso no es para ella. Eso es muy aburrido. Ella dice que quiere trabajar eh, como en el campo médico, por así decirlo, y que quiere trabajar como en el exterior, ¿verdad? Dice, I would like to work overseas. Vamos a, lo vamos a poner otra vez. No, nope. ok, so it just want to work. Listening. In working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Three. Vaya. Ok, ella dice que quiere un trabajo en el cual pueda ayudar a las personas. Luego dice lo que ya dijimos acerca de la familia. Dice que ella sí quisiera trabajar en overseas. Right? And she also said that she wants to work in a, maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. Right? Okay. Estamos bien hasta allí, guys. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna inquietud acerca de esto? No question. No questions. Okay. Very good. Very good. Vamos con el último. Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular nine to five job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Bueno, entonces ahí está. Eh, bueno, entonces ya con eso pudiéramos nosotros contestar estas preguntas. Por ejemplo, Bill, eh, creo que el trabajo más apropiado sería este, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué le gusta estar afuera? ¿Le gusta? ¿No quiere estar en una oficina? No es, no es para él. Luego, Shannon, ella habló acerca de un hospital, entonces un doctor sería lo mejor, ¿verdad? No, doctora en este caso. Y por último, para Ben, él habló acerca de eh, actuación, habló también acerca de mantenerse en forma. Entonces, okay. modelo. Modelo, muy bien, Francisca, very good. So, those would be like the answers to this. If I'm not mistaken. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Ahí están correctas las respuestas. Por si no las tenían, yo creo que ya las hicieron ustedes, la verdad. Pero eso sería. Así que, bueno, quizás nos vamos a quedar por aquí. Hasta aquí por ahora, guys. Mañana vamos a terminar estas dos cositas que nos faltan y vamos a repasar el examen final. Eh, así que no sé si tienen alguna duda antes de que nos vayamos. ¿Algo que les gustaría decir? Si no, pues, eh, les deseo a todos. ¿Perdón, Francisca? No, teacher. No questions, ok. Very good, thank you. Bueno, entonces, eh, solamente desearles una feliz noche, guys, y los veo mañana para nuestra última clase. Así que, eh, hasta mañana, guys. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.